Just to clarify, discharge superheat is your discharge temperature from your condenser saturation temperature. The difference between those is your discharge superheat coming off of your centrifugal. And that is the primary way that we will judge uh, a centrifugal's, say, superheat performance. We won't base it off of suction superheat most of the time. There are some exceptions. Most of the time, we're going to base it off of the discharge superheat specifically. At most machines will run uh, 15 to 25 degrees, 30 or 30 degrees of discharge superheat, depending on the load condition. Some of them will get as low as 10 degrees and it still be considered perfectly normal. Now, the correction I need to make that changes with a constant speed machine. And this was not something I had previously connected the dots on. So there were a handful of guys in the community that reached out. We had some discussions around this. They also shared some material. I appreciate the feedback. Um, definitely not perfect. And so it helps me better present this information. So let me explain constant speed discharge superheat. With constant speed, that motor doesn't change. That's the whole point behind the constant speed. But there's still the, the fact that that impeller is spinning, we have a, a specific amount of of heat from friction constantly being generated because we can't slow the compressor down we can't reduce the amount of heat that the impeller is is generating just from rotation on its own so what ends up happening is as we unload the machine and we move less refrigerant into the impeller because keep in mind these are uh, suction cooled compressors uh, there are some that use some liquid injection, but for the most part, majority of these are going to be suction cooled. Of course, then we could get into turbo core and I could get off on a tangent there. Either way, the, the compressor itself, the impellers, are cooled by the suction gas. As we unload and we move less suction gas through the impeller, we're not able to cool that impeller as much, which raises uh, the discharge superheat that we have to have because that each molecule of refrigerant has to take in more of that heat in order to properly keep the, the compressor from overheating. 